There are few signs of life at many shopping districts in the Chinese capital. Fears of a looming COVID-19 outbreak are keeping many people off the streets. Mr. Chen barely sees any customers at his tea shop these days, but he's holding out hope that business will bounce back. The pandemic will eventually go away. It'll take some time, but I believe things will recover step by step and my business will gradually improve. The latest official economic data is less optimistic. For the second consecutive month, retail sales slumped almost 6% on last year. Investment and industrial growth both slowed in November and unemployment rose to the highest since May. Policymakers are launching huge stimulus measures and pumping billions of dollars into the banking system. But analysts say it may take more than just money to spark an economic rebound. So there's a lot of fear in the country right now. So consumers, frankly, just are not willing to go outside to restaurants. A lot of parents are refusing to send their children to school because they're scared of the families catching COVID. So I think the economy is in a very weak state, much weaker than most analysts realize. The sudden relaxation of long-standing pandemic restrictions has seen some shoppers stockpiling at supermarkets and pharmacies. I am very worried. The problem is I can't buy any medicine now. What should I do if I get a fever? It's too risky to go out. The government is trying to reassure the public that everything is under control. It's boosting vaccine production, rolling out more booster shots for the elderly and ordering hospitals to increase capacity at intensive care units. But international health experts say China's lack of exposure to the virus over the past three years and its low vaccination rate among seniors means there's a risk that around a million people could die as the country rapidly transitions out of its zero-COVID policy. Richard Kimber, Al Jazeera, Hong Kong.